And now to a search for clues after two people were killed in an overnight house fire. Thank you so much for being with us. I'm Jennifer Reyna. And I'm Andy Sirota. And firefighters tell us the fire may not have been an accident. Channel 2's Brandon Walker joining us live at the home where investigators have been pouring through the scene all morning. And Brandon, what do you know about the victims? Well, good morning to you, Andy. Good morning, Jen. Investigators not releasing much about them. We don't know their names, but we are told that the victims are a woman believed to be in her 70s, also a man believed to be in his 20s. They're saying that the man was possibly that woman's caretaker. Neighbors here on the street don't know much about the people who live here in the house. As you can see, investigators still outside, but neighbors say as this investigation continues, they too want to know what happened. Well, Morning came in an already quiet Marjorie Street, seemed even more. Neighbors watched oh, of course, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as investigators poured through the house on the corner. We are treating this as a homicide investigation. Two people are dead, killed in a fire overnight. That's, that's the crazy part about it, man. I want to say God bless everybody. What started the fire is unclear. Investigators are calling it suspicious. They're also searching for a suspect, but would not say if they had anyone specific in mind. New Year's Eve, too? Yeah, man, it's sad. Firefighters say they got the call around midnight. No flames, but investigators say there was smoke coming from the back. They found a man dead in a bedroom. Crews rushed an elderly woman to the hospital. She didn't make it. The mother was in the nursing home of the elderly lady, and she, she hadn't been down there too long. William Neal lives four doors down. He didn't know those killed, but had seen them, no doubt. And while who or what started the fire remains a mystery, to those who live on Marjorie Street, one thing is certain. I feel sorry for the family, even though I don't even know the family. And, I, and now that this didn't happen, it, it, it is kind of bad that you don't know your neighbors like. They are searching for a suspect. However, they would not go into specifics. They are, though, searching for a blue Buick LeSabre, 2002 blue Buick LeSabre, license plate number BN6. H224. They're not saying much about why they're looking for that vehicle. All they're saying is that it's usually parked here out front the house, but it hasn't been here since last night when those flames took over the back end there. We're live this morning on the northwest side. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News.